In this video, I'm going to show you how you can begin to build three-dimensional forms onto your paper mache hand sculpture using newspaper and Elmer's art paste. But first, let's review. Last class, I showed you that our paper mache art paste is made from mixing water with this Elmer's art paste powder. When beginning to paper mache, first find the rough edge of your newspaper and tear away from that edge into strips. When applying these strips, dip your fingers into the paper mache paste and then apply it to each strip. You don't want the strips to be dripping. As you apply the strips, try to crisscross their direction because this will help to secure them smoothly onto your hand's form. Once you have smoothly applied at least two layers of newspaper strips to your entire hand and the top of the base, you then would be ready to begin to build three-dimensional forms or details that would help personalize your hand sculpture. To sculpt with the newspaper, take some of the Elmer's art paste and smear it on top of a sheet of newspaper using the amount of newspaper you think you'd need to make your form. You can then squeeze and manipulate that wet newspaper into your desired shape. I'm going to be twisting the newspaper to create some forms that will come away from the heart that I built using aluminum foil previously on this hand. The forms you create with wet newspaper will not stick by themselves though. You will need to use additional layers of newspaper strips to secure these forms in place on your hand. As you place your strips on top of the forms that you make, you'll want to use your fingers to smooth them into their formation. Don't just place it on top and lose the definition, but mold with your hands and the newspaper to get the detail that you're after. Work with the newspaper and art paste to create a smooth, well-crafted shell that highlights the texture or details that you create for a personalized hand sculpture. When finished working for the day, begin by putting a lid on your paper mache container. Then remember to wash your table by simply wiping down the surface with a dry paper towel, just trying to absorb all of that paper mache paste. You do not need to add water. Finally, make sure your name is still visible on the bottom of your base and then carry your hand sculpture to your class section of the drying rack, making sure that your hand does not touch any other students while it's wet.